Uh, I am standing here in uh, one of the quads here in McGill, in front of uh, McConnell, which is where my office is. And probably if this class was being held on campus, it would probably be held right there in that building. I'm Derek Roots, professor of computer science here at McGill University. I'm Jubby, professor of data science. And we're here to talk to you about a course that we'll be offering here at McGill University, Comp 598, Introduction to Data Science. These are unprecedented times we're living through. And I hope this message finds you healthy and safe wherever you are. One of the things that this crisis has shown is how important computer science and data science is to our way of life. Whether connecting with loved ones through video conference calls, or just receiving information through online news outlets and social media, data science is a key engine to all of these experiences. What are we gonna cover on this course, Daddy? Well, we are, in this course, we're gonna take a really holistic look at data science. A lot of data science courses, particularly in computer science, tend to really focus in on uh, crunching data. And we are going to cover some of that. But some of the other pieces that we're going to, going to cover are really about applied data science, about how data science is practiced in the world. And so we're going to spend time talking about how you collect data, how you organize data, um, how we annotate data, um, which is something that can really be quite tricky and quite difficult and often isn't covered in a lot of data science courses. Um, and then we're going to go all the way through and we're going to talk about modeling and machine learning and then we're going to wrap up by talking about how to communicate data science which is perhaps one of the most important tools a data scientist can have knowing how to visualize and share the insights that they gain. Dad, why are you teaching this class? Thanks for asking, Chubby. Data science is something that I've cared about for a long time because I think that we need better tools for making good decisions. We need ways for making good decisions and we need ways of thinking about the decisions that we make. And data is a very powerful tool for aiding that decision making. I don't believe in data science as a way of unilaterally making decisions and cutting people out of the loop. I think of it as being a tool that we can use. And the more people that understand the power of data science, uses of data science, I think the more equitable, the more prosperous, uh, and the more happy a society that we're going to have. Dad, what is data science? Well, data science is when we use information that we gather out in the world in order to learn important things about effectively the way the world operates. It's a way of thinking using data as evidence, but not just any kind of data, a lot of data. So this class is going to be fun? Yes, it's going to be fantastic. I know it's going to be a little strange because we're not all going to be here on campus meeting in classes like we usually would, but we are going to make a lot of effort to create an engaging class from the online lectures that we'll be uh, uh, preparing and posting online every week to the small groups that we're going to run, small virtual groups, so that it's not just going to be you interacting with me or you interacting with the videos, it'll be about connecting you also with your, your classmates to work on small projects together and really dig into the concepts that we're covering. Okay. <laughs> Dad, what do I need to know to take this class? Well, even though the course number is high, 598, it, because it's, that's just because it's a new course. It's actually designed to be an introduction to data science and assumes nothing more than a basic understanding of how to program. So if you've taken Comp 250, Comp 251, or any other course that's gotten you familiar with the idea of how to program um, and maybe how to load files uh, and think about uh, accessing data that way, then you're totally prepared. 
<laughs> what is the walk for this class like? Well, given these unprecedented situations, we're of course going to be flexible and figuring that out a bit together. But what I'm expecting is that we'll have uh, weekly lectures. Um, we'll also have small group exercises, perhaps uh, happening in every one to two weeks. Um, and then we'll also have uh, homework assignments. Those homework assignments are going to be really focused on practicing the topics and the material that we're covering. So they should be very practical, very applied. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. Hope to see you in class in the fall.